Uh, if I'm in Montana, I got to call on somebody with a cowboy hat. <laughs> Absolutely. You've, you've got a little plaque on there. Is it, uh, the, uh, uh, Montana Ambassadors. We're a um, business advisory group appointed by the governor. We've served three um, Republican and two Democratic governors, and I'd like to welcome you on behalf of the Montana Ambassadors to Thank Montana. you so much. Well, you make a great ambassador. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, my question, and I'm glad you called on me, it has to do with the COBRA question, because I'm in the building materials business. I own a lumber yard in a beautiful little town of a thousand people about 40 miles um, southwest of here, Ennis. And I was, uh, um, when the economy took a nosedive, I was forced to take my workforce from 11 people to six. And I'm one of, like most employers in America, I want to you know, provide, I think it's my responsibility to provide health insurance, you know, we like to take care of our peeps, so to speak. And um, so I Is went on... the Montana phrase, peeps? <laughs> <laughs> and so I went searching for replacement coverage for the employees that had been laid off, only to find out that COBRA doesn't apply to me because I have less than 20 employees, and that conservatively affects 80% of all workers in Montana. So they were pretty much out on their own, and I was wondering if what we can do to di eliminate discrimination against small employers. As an example, we're a lumberyard. We're out there lifting boards and uh, packing stuff all day long. Every one of my uh, remaining seven employees are fit. So why are we, and I as an employer, able to provide a lesser level of benefits to my employees, and yet an employer with 30 employees who sit in cubicles on their butts instead of working them off <laughs> gets a better rate. <laughs> well, the, uh, that's a pretty good question. <laughs> so for all of you, we're all sitting on your, what do you call them? <laughs> no. As I said, small business is, is probably as vulnerable as anybody. And one of the things that Max has been working very hard on, and this just doesn't get advertised, so I, I just want to make sure everybody's paying attention here. One of the things that we're trying to do is give a substantial subsidy to help small businesses allow their employees to get health insurance. Because there are a lot of employers just like you who want to do the right thing, but they're a small shop they're operating on small margins. They've got no leverage with the insurance companies. So there are two ways we want to help. Number one, we want the small business to be able to buy into the exchange. That allows you then to use the purchasing power of everybody who's in the exchange to get the best rates from the insurance companies. That right away would drive down the premiums that you'd have to pay. And the second thing we want to do is for employers who are doing the right thing and providing health insurance that is real, then we want to give you a, a tax break so that it's easier for you to make your bottom line. Now, this is something that a lot of small businesses would benefit from. Nobody's talking about it. And since small businesses are the place where you're seeing the fastest job growth, it makes sense for us uh, to provide this kind of protection. This, I guarantee you, will be, end up being an important component of, of whatever we pass out of Washington. All right? <laughs>